everyone. So this is the final results of the wig that I made using the hair that I received from uniwigs.com. The first part of the video will be in the info box. Um, what I received was two bundles of hair and a lace closure. The lace closure was size three and a half by four. And the two bundles of hair was 18 inches and 20 inches. Um, both was body wave hair. So I actually made a wig out of it. Um, I sold the hair into a dome cap. And what I did, I actually took the hair and I split the tracks on the hair. After I split it, I actually sealed the tracks before I actually sewed it in. So I actually sealed the tracks on both sides. Instead of doing just one side, I did both sides to keep the hair from shedding. Okay, so I actually split the tracks on all of the hair and I actually sealed the tracks and I did one side and I'm going to flip it and I'm going to do the other side. Seal it with this. This is what I sealed it with. And this glue dries kind of fast and it dries uh, clear. This is the other side of the track and I'm going to show you what it actually looks like. I'm trying to hold my camera and do this at the same time so it's a little difficult. But it looks kind of like a bluish purple when you apply it here so you can see what it looks like so that's what it looks like and like I said when it dries it dries completely clear so when it dries it looks like this since I had I split the tracks um that makes it easier for the hair to shed so I decided to seal both sides of the track and then I sold into a dome cap basically just a regular black dome cap um, when I sewed the hair on the reason why I split the tracks is so I could have more hair and when I sold it I sold the tracks like right next to each other I didn't leave a space or anything like that in between it. and splitting the tracks keep the hair from being so full so if I had just actually just sold the hair regularly it would have been extremely extremely full and the wig would have been extremely heavy I didn't want it to be heavy and I didn't want it to be extremely full so I decided to split the tracks and like I said I sold them right next to each other all the way up until I got up to the lace closure um, I did have like a half a bundle of Brazilian Remy body wave hair also that I had around the house. It was 20 inches long too. So I decided to add that to the wig so I can have make sure I had enough hair. So I just pretty much just blended it throughout. The hair pretty much the wave pattern everything is pretty much the same. Um, I actually when I sewed the hair on I sewed one track underneath the cap so if the wind blow or if I lift it up or anything like that you'll see pretty much the hair and not the dome cap and I did that all the way around even on the sides you can see it's pretty much the cap um, I didn't have to um, add any clips or hair pins or combs or anything like that into the wig because the dome cap actually it fits extremely tight I already it's not going anywhere uh, I could add a few bobbin pins which were probably when I wear it out I'll probably add maybe like four bobbin pins like one here one here maybe two in the back or something but I mean the wig is actually tight I don't have to really worry about that uh, for the lace closure in the front uh, I did most people when they make a wig they cut like the inside of the dome cap out where the lace closure is I didn't do that. I did this method last year and it worked great so I decided to use the same method again this year. Um, basically what I did was I took a stocking cap that was about the same color as my skin tone and I sewed it to the dome cap and then I sewed the lace closure on top of it. So, um, when I finish, I don't have to cut the dome cap at all. 
So the cap that I have on it is not cut at all. The lace closure in the front, which you see here, is actually the stocking that's underneath that you can see through it. And I can part the hair um, wherever I want. You can see it. it looks just like my hair. So I didn't cut the dome cap at all. And you can see that it's laying pretty flat. Um, I could take my curling one and actually um, flatten it out a little more. But to me, right now, since I'm just doing this for video purposes right now, to me it's laying pretty flat and it looks pretty natural. Um, I'm not an expert in it, but <laughs> it looks pretty natural to me. Uh, the hair, like I said, was 18 inches and 20 inches long. The lace closure was 20 inches long. So when I sold the hair on, I started off with the 20 inches because I wanted length in the back. Um, and then I moved up to the 18 inch and then so forth. Uh, the hair, when I finished, it was just straight across. It was just long. You, and, and I have a video on it with the wig that was when it was on the uh, mannequin head. You will see it. I'll add that to the end of this video. So what I did um, afterwards, I actually took the hair and I actually cut it a little bit. Well, not a little bit, a lot. <laughs> The front of the hair, you can see where it stops at here. Um, it's kind of layered somewhat, just a little bit. I didn't want too much layers in it, and I didn't want this hair to be too short. Because I have my other wig where I cut it up really short in front. So I, I wanted this to stay kind of long. Um, so I just trimmed off a little bit, and I'm going to get on my tiptoes. Hopefully you can see where it stops at. And you can see how long it is. Um, and the back, it's about waist length almost in the back. Almost. It's about waist length. Um, but when I finished uh, making the wig and everything like that, of course I cut it. And afterwards, I dampened the hair just a little bit. I added a little, just a little bit of silk element foam wrap on the hair. And I actually two strand twisted it very loosely. And I also added some uh, silk element glosser on it. And that's just to control the frizz. And this hair, it really has a really pretty shine automatically already. So um, the gloss will just really made it really, really kind of shine. And it's not like over shiny, like wiggy shiny, but it's like a natural, just a natural shine pretty much. Um, um, after I two strand twisted, like I said, I did it extremely loose because I didn't want the, the waves to be extremely, extremely defined in this hair since it's body wave hair. And I wanted it to be like a, just a loose loose uh, wave and so I just um, two strand twisted really loose and when I got this morning it was still damp a little bit just a little but I took it down before it completely dried because I didn't want the waves to be in it extremely like I said I didn't want it to be extremely defined so I took it down before it dried the hair is dry actually dry now so this is the way that it looks and it's pretty much just a natural body wave pretty much uh, this hair I tried I actually took my flat urn and I flat earned like a little section in the front which I, I waved it back up since then but I flat earned it like right here you can see that it didn't mess the pattern of the hair up or anything like that um the hair flat earns really pretty so I probably would wear this hair flat earn just bone straight sometime um like I said the flat earn it went I took one pass through it and it just it just flat earn really really nice so I don't have to worry about that um, on the ends of the hair, I did take my curling wand to the ends of it because the ends was a little bit too straight for me. So I did take my curling wand and you can see it has like a little slight, slight uh, curl to it. Not a lot, just a, enough to keep the hair from looking so choppy at the ends. So that's basically um, pretty much all I did. I'm not about to wear this out right now. I'm going to wear this for my birthday and for an event that's coming up soon. So I'm going to wear it then. And I probably wear it just like it is. I might um, put a little more wave in it, maybe. I'm not sure, but basically I'm just going to wear it just like this. I think it looks nice just like this, pretty much. So that is basically it for this video. I'm going to add some pictures at the end. Um, I'll put all the information to the hair and all that in the info box. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Just let me know. So that is basically it, and I will talk to you later, YouTube. Till then, take care.